it is time to get these wheels mounted. So we're gonna head over, get them mounted, come back, put them on, and see how much camber we actually have to run on the SD. Let's go. mounted right now here's my prediction if the wheel has some stretch on that tire then we should be good but if it has no stretch at all then we might be in some trouble let's see after they mount them but uh, I don't know I'm, I'm a little nervous right now I already ordered the camber arms so those are coming because regardless we're gonna have to run camber but my thing is I don't want to run a massive amount of camber that's my biggest thing so I'll let them mount the wheels and let's see where we're at There's no stretch. We're in trouble. Yikes! So we're back at home, and like I was telling you guys, these tires have no stretch with these wheels. So we might be in some trouble. They look sick, don't get me wrong. Nice, meaty. They, they look sick, but we might be in some trouble. The good thing is, we're about to throw these on right now, and there's shade. So thank God, because it's freaking hot in the sun. But, uh, I don't know, let's, I guess, get started. So before we put this wheel on, I'm going to go on record and say that I know that these are pretty much going to be Mexi Flush. We're going to have to add a good amount of camber to get this to look decent. But uh, I guess let's see. I'm kind of nervous to be honest. about to look like a goo ball. Watch, I already know it. All right, let me wipe my hands before I touch these new wheels. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look who it is, the man himself. Let's see what he thinks. Let's see, let's get his uh, opinion on what's gonna, what's gonna happen. You literally came at the right time. I just stopped to wipe my hands right when I came back. You came. So what? Wait. What do you think is gonna happen? Uh, look, guys. So basically, what I told him. So we kind of spec these, or we kind of like research these specs. Kind of. On. <laughs> I kind of full sent our, it. With each other. So the offset we kind of underestimated, but I mean, 18 by 9. You know, that's a good size for the ST. But offset we totally underestimated. We didn't even really pay attention to it. Not really. But what well, offsets everything? Obviously, you guys are about to see. But my prediction, like I told them, is. He's gonna have to run more than negative five camber. He's gonna, in order to tuck the tire at least, or he's gonna have to stretch a tire and get a different tire. I told you there's no stretch. Yeah, there, there's, there's like a, almost negative yeah, stretch. There's none. Yeah, I you're told right. You, like it's almost ne no, it's like I fixed the tire. Down. Yeah, because he no, said. I, uh, you know, it kind of sinks in. He said that I guess the sidewall was a pain, and I don't know if it's because it's uh, federal or I don't know, it but cool. it does. But I already know that. Right. Yeah. It looks like that wheel goes on the opposite side. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, because of the... Yeah, I think they're directional. I always forget about that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, that scared me. What? I pulled this off of the tire. Right from right here. It's because it's hella sticky. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah, see, it's almost it's negative. Good. Look, you yeah. see how it's kind of bulging? Yeah, the, the side wall, yeah. If you would have got 65, that would have been That would have been way too much. Definitely way too much. Oh my god. I already know it's out. I, I already know it needs camera. There ain't yeah. nothing about that. I that. <laughs> Actually, not that bad. Bro. I, I thought it was going to be worse. I told him he he needs camera arms because I'm not letting him roll yeah. like this. Mexi flush. Yeah. 
whatever you want to call it, this is not acceptable. But I honestly thought it was gonna be worse than this. I mean, it don't be wrong. It's it's. Bad. And this is an example of offset, guys. This wheel is basically like a ten by yeah. ten with the offset that pretty much he went with. Yeah. And it's probably if we didn't go with this offset, we would have went with plus thirty eight nine and a half wheel, yeah. but it's out of stock on Kanze, so that wouldn't even matter. Cause I know you wanted a wheel then. You don't want to wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll let this. I might actually uh, have to lift it up before I let it. I let it down. Yeah, cause you do not want to mess up. Yeah, hell. The body of this car, hell. literally. The fender's ain't, like okay, fender's yeah, replaceable. Yeah. All right. Damn, that's meaty right there. Holy cow. That's how I mean. I like it. You ready? I like the meaty. Hold on. Make sure. Yeah. Like, don't let it off fast now. stop <laughs> look so that I like he needs camera right? bro. it might be too much to be honest bro you're gonna go through tires like because look so so this tire I don't know if you guys could see that but this tire is not that tilted right now you actually you should have probably done the front first so we could adjust the camera at least like at least we could play with it up there so right now we're adjusting the camera on this side I'm not even going to show you guys the step of doing this because it's going to be so much of going back and forth. Uh, so we had to take off, we had to take off, not take off, but we had to loosen this end link, allowing this to go down because what we didn't want to do, because, well, let me start from the beginning. So it all starts with Ford thinking that this is a big enough hole, which obviously they're not thinking about aftermarket solutions for their cars, but this hole is not big enough to adjust the camber. So what we have to do is technically you're supposed to take off the whole like strut, the whole airbag pick, strut, pick it up. but that's too much work because then you have to like loosen up all this stuff. So what we did was we just loosened the top up here, loosen the end link, allowing this to push, whoops, my bad. <laughs> allowing this to push down, and then we're just like adjusting it like that. Right. So again, it's it's a whole, there's whole steps to it, but I'll show you guys end product so we can uh, actually get this done. All right, so the fronts are maxed out. Negative three is the, is the most it will go as far as camber. So we're gonna lower it out and see what it's do. Let's see what it do. Look like it'll look like it'll tuck that, huh? <laughs> you don't think so? Moment of truth. No. It needs more. Yep, it needs more. All right, so here's the final verdict. The rears don't pay attention to it because the camber arms are in the way. That's literally with drill camber. The fronts, I'm barely, barely missing tucking that. Like it's like so close. Some people would fully send that, but I'm not doing that. I'm not messing my fenders up. So we just came to the conclusion that I'm gonna have to buy uh, new tires. I'm gonna have to probably, cause these are 255s, I'm gonna have to go like a 235. And I'm just gonna have to have the lip showing on the wheel. And uh, yeah, that's the verdict right now. Listen.